Hey everyone, this is Brimster and this is Lavender Panther from the KG Constraints Puzzle Pack. This is another puzzle that was submitted close to the end of the creation of the pack and I know pretty much nothing about it. I don't know anything about the difficulty. Um, I know the testers have rated it as something, but some of the testers, I, I haven't looked at any specific. Some of the testers rate particularly high, some rate low, and I didn't go into detail. So I will find out when I explore the puzzle. Um, yeah, I, I do get, I do... I do look at what the testers say as a difficulty rating, and for this one, they said it was a, a sort of a, a hard walk. Um, but I've had some testers who've rated puzzles that I think are hard treks, um, or hard hikes, sorry, as they've rated them as walks. So it really does depend on who it was, and I didn't look at that. Um, so yeah, but I'm looking forward to this one. Now, this is not one that was created 18 months ago, because simple lines aren't that old. This was one of the submissions that came in when I tried to revamp interest in testing, and people were saying, oh, you're testing puzzles for a pack. Can I submit one? And it was like, uh, yeah, sure. Um, why not? It's good to get some uh, people who weren't around when we did the first puzzle um, in, and GDC, I believe, is one of them. So let's have a look at this one. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 get placed without repetition. Digits in cages sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. And digits an equal distant from the center of a line must sum to the value in the central cell of that line. These are zipper lines. So using this one as an example, these two digits will sum to that. These two digits, actually, this line might be better. Actually, this line, I think, is more clear. The, on this line, these two digits will sum to the cell, digit that is put in that cell. These two digits will sum to the digit that is put in that cell. And these two digits will sum to the digit put in that cell. Um, because these two digits are one away. These two digits are two away. So they are equal distance away. So those two digits will sum to the digit put there. I like zipper lines. I've only done maybe four or five zipper line puzzles, so I'm not great at them, but we'll see how we go. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So the thing that is jumping out at me, the minimum digits I can put into a three cell cage are one, two, and three. They add to six. I'm aiming for seven, which is the digit in the top. So I need to increase one of those digits by one. The only digit I can increase by one without causing a duplication is the three to a four. This is one, two, four. I have the same logic here. The maximum digits I can put in is seven, eight, nine. That's 24. I need to reduce one of them by one. Without duplication, I reduce the seven to a six. So these digits here are one, two, three, five, and seven. So these are three, five, and seven. Now the eight here takes eight out of there. None of these can be eight. I don't know if that's interesting. There must be a one in there. And there must be a one in here because you must put one in eight cages. Otherwise, the minimum is two, three, four, and we are broken. Now, what I was just looking at is I think that is an odd digit. I know that is an odd digit. I'm wrong. I was getting confused with other things. Those two digits sum to that. So those two digits sum to 13. They could be 9-4. They can't be 8-5. So they're either 9-4. Wait, how did... They can't be 9-4, surely. There's no way they could be 9-4. Hang on. This feels broken from the start. Surely that's right. These two digits sum to the same as that digit, and that digit sums to the same as that. So these two digits sum to 13. That has to be the case, because these two digits plus that is 13. So how do I make 13? I could use 9, 4. I can't use 8, 5, because 8's not available. I could use 7, 6. And that's it. But that means one of these... If these are 9, 4, one of these lines has to sum to 4. And I can't make this line sum to 4, or all of those would have to be 1, 3. So this line can't sum to 4, so this can't be a 9. Now, if this line sum to 4, those would be 1, 3. Those, these two would have to be 1, 3, and those would have to be 1, 3. This is 6, 7. 
But how does that work? So these have to sum, because these are on this purple line. I almost wish these lines had been coloured a bit different. These have to sum to six or seven. And this and this has to sum to six or seven. Whoa. So where's nine in this box? These all have to be lower. These cells, those cells all have to be lower than that because they're all on those li that line. So these can only be from one, two, three, four, five, six. So these digits are, are from have to include the nine and I can't put the nine here or that'd have to be higher. That is the nine. So these have to sum to nine. That means this isn't the nine. But hang on, this has to sum to six or seven. But these were, I, uh, this now has a maximum of five though. That has a maximum of five and it can't be any lower than four. So this is four or five, because if it was three, these two, no, that is complete. No, this is four or five. If this was three, these two digits would have to sum to 18. So that means there is a nine in here. Because if it's four, they have to sum to 18 and they're eight, nine. And if it's five, they have to sum. No, that's wrong. If it's four, they have to sum to 17 and they're eight, nine. If it's five, they have to sum to 16 and they are seven, nine. So this, what? Oh, what am I talking about? This is also six, eight, nine. And there's no nine there and there's no six there. Sorry, other way around. There's no nine there. There's no eight there. So one of these is a six. It can't be that one, surely. Actually, I think it could. How do I make 12 without six, eight or nine? Lots of different ways. If I don't use seven, I'm using five, four, three, which is 12. Does it have to be five, four, three? No, I could use seven, five, one, for example. But I can't put seven in any of those cells because that's on a line that sums to seven, as is that seven is in one of those two. So that can't be the six. That's the nine. And that's the six, which makes that the eight and that the nine, which means this is the six and this is the eight. And these are two and seven. Now that's interesting because now I know that these are one, three, four, and five and three, four, five sums to 12. So that's the one. And that digit is the opposite of that digit. Well, that can't be a seven. One, three would make that a four and it can't be. So that's a five and this is the six. So that's the seven. This is crazy. That means this isn't a one. These have to sum to seven. Two, five, four, three. That can't be a four. These have to sum to six. One, five, two, four. I can't do three, three. That's not a three. And that can't be a four because that can't be a two. These have to sum to seven. These are part of the six line and have to sum to six. So that's not a three and that is not a four. So that's a one, two pair. That's a four. That's part of the seven line. So that's the three. What is going on? And these are now known. They're two and seven, which works for that being a nine line. This is crazy. It's beautiful, but crazy. Now these have to sum to six. So they're either one, five or two, four. And I can't see what to do with that yet. Now this is a 14 cage without a six or a seven. Oh, if I use the calculator, I'm sure this would be much clearer. Three, four, five doesn't get me there. So I must use an eight or a nine. 
If I use a nine, I need two digits that sum to five. I think that's okay. If there's a one in one of these, this is part of the six line, these become one five, that becomes a four. I think that works. If I put a one here, that's part of the six line, that becomes a five. And I think that works fine. These have to sum to seven. They could be one six. No, they can't be one six. There's no six available. They can't be one six. They can't be two five. These are a three four pair, which means that's the five on the six line, making that the one. The three four makes that the seven, which makes that the two, which makes that the seven. The five makes that the four. That's on the six line, which means that is the two, which works for the, wow, this even keeps resolving. This is crazy. And these are now one, five, six. Now this is on the seven line. Those are three along the seven line. So those two cells have to sum to seven. So those are a one, seven. This is a five. This is on the seven line, so that's a two. These are now on the six line, so those are one and five. <coughs> wow. This is a four, which means these have to sum to 17, so they are eight, nine. And these are three, six, seven. Now, this can't be a three because it's the sum of those two. That can't be a six as seven. That is the three. Oh, which I could have got if I'd paid attention. As soon as that was a six, that was a three because it's the same. It's the end of the line twice. I don't have to be clever. Now, if this is four, six, that would be two and it can't be. So it's four, seven, three. The seven makes that two. So that's seven. The top of this column is now a one. So there's no one five here, this is two four. The two makes that the four and that the two. The four makes that the three and that the four. I don't know. This is nuts. There's no three in the eight cage. There's only two ways to make up an eight cage. I can do one, two, five or one, three, four. So this is one, two, five. And there's no five there. Okay, so this is one less than this, but these have to sum to 13. I can't use nine, four. I could use eight, five. I can't use seven, six. So these are five and eight. And these we therefore know is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three and nine. But this can't be a nine because it's on a nine line. That's the three, that's the nine. So this is the eight. The three, something is going to break this open. The seven looks down making that the six, which makes that the one and that the six, which makes that the five and that the one. The five looks up making that the eight and that the five. The eight looks down making that the nine and that the eight. And now I've done the zipper lines except for these, which have to sum to nine. I could do one, eight, I can't do two, seven, I can't do three, six, I can't do four, five. They are one and eight, and I'm now done with the zipper lines. Okay. Eight is in one of those two cells because the by Sudoku, they're in one of those three. I can't put eight in a nine, three cell nine cage. The other two cells would have to sum to one. And the eight looks up saying, that's not the eight, that's the eight. I could have just used Sudoku, but I decided to use Killer because that's the seam of the pack. There's no one in this nine cage, so it's two, three, four. There's no three there. There's no two there. So seven is in one of those two by Sudoku. Five is in one of those two by Sudoku. Six is not there or there. So six is in one of those two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is not there or there. So nine is in one of those two. So that's a six, nine pair. So this is a six, nine pair. That's the five and that's the seven. Cool. So what do we got in this column? I need to put a two down here. 
So it's 269, 345, yeah, 269. So this is 29 and this is 26. There's no two in this nine cage. And that's really important because you can only got three ways of making a three cell nine cage. If I don't use a one, then it has to be two, three, four, the minimum digits, but I don't have a two available because of the two looking down here and that two. So it must have a one in it. Now I can't use one, two, six. So I then skip one, I jump to one, three, I get one, three, five. And if I jump to one, four, I need another four. So it's one, three, five. Now I know people who with these very common cage totals often get frustrated um, when I go through basic principles, but I don't know if people who are watching this know them. Five looks down, taking five out of those. So that becomes the five. This is really fun. Oh, the three looks across making that the one and that the three. The one looks across saying that's not the one. Now this tin cage, I can see there's a one in one of those two. Don't know. Nine is in one of those two. Mm, seven is right there though, isn't it? Yeah, that's a seven. So now that's a seven. And seven is up here. But I can put seven in a 10 cage with one, two. Seven is in that 10 cage because these two sevens knock out all of those and that seven knocks out that one. So seven is in here. So that's not the one. This is one, seven, and two. That takes two out of there, making that the two. This is now six or nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is six or nine. And I don't know. I don't know. But the one looks down taking one out of there. That becomes the one. This is a two, five. So in this column, I'm missing three, four. Yeah, this is three, four. And there's a three there. So that's the four. That's the three. So this row, these are also six and nine. Give me a six, nine pair in that column. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is three or four and it's not a three. So that's a four. That's a nine. That's a six. That's a three. That's a four. That's a nine. That's a six. I know there's stuff I can do down here by making that the two, that the six, which makes that the five and that the two. In this row, four, five. So the four makes that the five and that the four. This is a nine, which looks down making that a six. Again, I could have used that, but I didn't. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are an eight, nine, and I'll use the nine to make that the eight, that the nine. And that is the correct solution. That is a beautiful um, walk in the park. Really, really cool. I like that puzzle a lot. Thanks, GDC. I know GDC sets the best zipper line puzzles, all the way from sort of walks in the park up to treks in the wilderness. Understands the constraint better than anyone, I think. Really, really cool. Thank you for contributing a puzzle to the pack. Thank you to the people who are solving the pack to for exploring it and enjoying it. Um, hope you're enjoying everything we do. And as always, good luck with your solving.